short division with remainders. So I'm using my pom-poms to represent my tens and my ones. I'm using blue pom-poms to represent tens and I'm using red pom-poms to represent my ones. So I'm going to do the number sentence 47 divided by 3. So I need to find out how many threes go into 47. The first step I'm going to do is look how many times the number 3 can go into 4. So 3 can go into 4 one time. Oh, but there's one left over. So I need to put that into my ones column. I need to write a 1 above my 4 because 3 goes into the number 4 one time. Then it has one 10 left over. So I put the 10 in front of the 7 and this makes it 17 because I have one 10 and seven ones. So that is 17. Now that I'm looking at my ones column, I need to find out how many times the number three goes into 17. So I need 17 red pom-poms. So I'm going to exchange this blue one for 10 red ones so that I have 17 ones in front of me. I need to put them into groups of three because I want to find out how many threes there are in the number 17. Okay, so I've put them into groups of three. And remember, they all need to be even groups of three. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. Uh, what? This one only has two. So that isn't an equal group of three. So that means that I have two remaining. So they are actually my remainders because they don't go into three evenly. So they are left over. So at the top, I'm going to write 5 above my 17 and R to represent remainder and 2 after the R because I have 2 remaining. Remember that remainders mean the leftover. They are the remaining pieces. I always kind of think of it like pizza. When I order a pizza and I only eat some, I've got some remaining so they are my remainder pieces. It's kind of the same for division. 47 divided by 3 equals 15 remainder 2. 